Oh, <laughs> we've done festivals for almost 20 years, say 18 years or something like that. Um, the first time I played guitar with the band officially uh, was at Dynamo Festival. Um, I don't really remember that much because I had tunnel vision. I was so nervous and, and imagine just being on a huge stage for the first time. I've been, I used to be the drummer in the band, so I was in the back. You just, you know, I could look at people and nobody looked at me really, so I just relaxed and all of a sudden being all the way up front. So I had tunnel vision. That was that, that was a very powerful, powerful memory that I don't really remember. <laughs> you know, I kind of blocked it out. But then um, all the shows we've done here uh, at, at The Ring, now it's a new new place, but they've been really, really cool. We had the fortune of playing right before Damage Plan once, and that was cool. So I got to see them before Dime passed, and then that was that was a really cool show. Um, Vakken, of course, it's a having 80,000 people jumping to your song, that's, uh, that's pretty cool, yeah. So I have a bunch of them, it's really hard to pinpoint one. Yeah. It's probably one of the ones that we did now uh, in the US. Um, they had a, a something, something uprising or something, was called. I can't remember what it's called. But they had the small stage where we played, um, on the, it's not on the parking lot, it's on the, on the grass thing. And the doors to the, the gates to the main stage wasn't open, were supposed to be open until we were done. But everything got delayed. So they opened the, the gates five minutes into our set. So everybody started pouring in because they wanted good seats. So in the end, we stood there with a couple hundred people watching us. Like, what the, really? Is that how you do it? It was just a very badly organized festival. Nothing like Europe. beer obviously but that's uh, you, you get that in abundance on a festival most of the time uh, I think clean underwear would be if I was a visitor that would be something I definitely you know and I wouldn't walk around in flip-flops as I'm doing now on a festival <laughs> so socks as well and you know underwear a, tooth, a toothbrush yeah that helps too bring clean underwear <laughs> Um, um, I've, I haven't really seen how the camping site is here, but I would say, because I've done it a couple of times, I've, I've been at festivals in tents, and especially when the weather is like it is today. Today it's okay, but having 34 degrees and um, being in a tent means you're getting boiled, you know, it's like, and that's not okay. So try to find better lodgings, better place to sleep, something air conditioned, you know. So it doesn't, or drink a lot of water. That's probably, yeah, that could be the equivalent of it. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's actually a little bit of both. Um, the, the, the main, the big uh, good thing with a festival, I'd say, is that you reach a lot of people. It's always a lot of people at the festival, and uh, a lot of people that probably won't. Well, some of them probably won't go to an Inflames show for us, for instance. Uh, so you have an opportunity to showcase your stuff and present your music. The drawback is that you're very detached from the audience. You're like five, six, eight, ten meters away from the audience. And so it's like the energy, you know, the, the trading of energy is, is tougher, it's harder. Um, but again, I mean, there's pros and cons with club shows and the same thing with the festival. So. But we enjoy doing it, and especially now, doing these festivals, we have so many friends here. It's like, we toured with, I wouldn't say half the bands, but we toured with a lot of bands here. Um, and we're fans of most of the bands here, so we, we have a really good time, actually. So that, that's another bonus. I think I might be a bit analytical when it comes to watching bands. Some bands, I just it, they just go straight in. You know, you don't you don't think about how they played or anything like that because it's just so good. But a lot of times you kind of analyze what they do, and you stand there around the mixing booth like a music police. Oh, I missed that note. You know, it's like, and it's just stupid to do that. So the, um, when you actually hit that feeling of you don't really care how they play, you just enjoy the experience. That's a that's a really cool feeling. Um, 
most bands that that's been around for a while they have that you know you don't think about it you just enjoy it you just live it you know i like that 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 vibe and you get that at a festival because a lot of times they bands are overwhelmed by the the audience so do you see something that you wouldn't see in a club show you know it's it's a different energy they put out a different vibe you know like, yeah i kind of like that Thank <laughs> you.